What's up Broncos? My name is Darogue Millen and this is your Week in Review. The Center for Ethics in School Communications hosted a joint social media forum aimed to inform students about the power of social media and politics. News reporter Aya Miller covered the forum, detailing their talk on how populism is adapted to involve social media as their primary platform. Former Western graduate David Anderson has been elected as Kalamazoo's new mayor last Tuesday, winning on account of 5,879 votes. Lead news reporter Cameron Bratton recapped Anderson's longtime political career in Kalamazoo and what he aims to accomplish as mayor. Michael Flowers, WU's basketball guard, is looking to bloom into Western's next basketball star. Football beat reporter Seth Barry interviewed Flowers to get his view on playing for the Broncos and overcoming adversity. The Outer Worlds, a role-play game by Obsidian Entertainments, released a couple weeks ago to glowing reviews by critics and gamers alike. CNC editor James Gilby gave an in-depth review of the game, comparing it to other titles in the Obsidian catalog. And finally, our headline story for this week, the W Board of Trustees approved the increase in rates for student apartments and revealed the rates for New Arcadia Flats. Students staying in Western View will see a 1% to 4.5% increase in their rates, while Arcadia Flats, on the other hand, will range in prices, topping off at $1,200 for a lost style apartment. Staff reporter Joseph Zurich covered the meeting and heard students' reactions to the changes. There you have it, Broncos. If you want to read this week's headlines and many more stories on what's going on around Western, pick up your copy of the Western Herald or visit westernherald.com. This has been Darrell McMillan, signing off. Thank you.